Hello and welcome to Martinsville Speedway for the second race of the Jimmy John's Cup Series Season 1 playoffs and the final short track race of the season. We're here for the running of the STP 500. Now, today's going to be a question of whether we get another driver to lock themselves into the playoffs like Kevin Harvick did in Texas, or will a non-playoff driver manage to pull off a win today like Joey Logano starting in third? Now, also, Kyle Busch, he has swept both of the short track races this season. And we're gonna, today we'll see if he can sweep all of them. And if he would win today, of course, you get locked in to the championship four. And now let's take a look at your point standings going into today. Of course, Kevin Harvick is locked into the championship four with his win. And Danny Hamlin and Kyle Busch are barely above the cut line. And Tyler Reddick, Martin Trex Jr., Kurt Busch, Daniel Suarez, Matt De and Matt Benedetto are all barely out, so look for them to get points today. Now for your starting lineups in row one, it's Martin Trex Jr. and Eric Almarola. Row two, it's Joey Logano and Chase Briscoe, a pair of Fords. Row three is the two of Brad Keselowski and the 18 of Kyle Busch. Row four is the 11 of Denny Hamlin and the 12 of Ryan Blaney. Row five is the nine of Chase Elliott and the 42 of Ross Chastain. And row six is the Texas winner Kevin Harvick and Kurt Busch. Row seven is gonna be the 21 of Matt DiBenedetto and the 48 of Alex Bowman. Row 8 is going to be the 43 of Eric Jones and the 5 of Kyle Larson. Then row 9 is going to be the 24 of William Byron and the 3 of Austin Dillon. Row 10 to round out the top 20, Daniel Suarez and Tyler Reddick. Row 11 is going to be the Roush Fenway teammates of Chris Buescher and Ryan Newman. And row 12, the 33 of Austin Sindrick and the 96 of Ty Dillon. Row 13, 20 of Christopher Bell and the 77 of Noah Gregson. In row 14, Bubba Wallace in the 23 and Ryan Priest in the 27. And to round out your field in row 15, Cole Custer and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. The green flag is out, the pace car is off, and Martin Truex Jr. and Eric Almarola lead them to the line at Martinsville. And it's a good jump for Martin Truex Jr. as Almarola gets trapped in the top lane, and now Joey Logano is up to second. The bottom lane is the optimal lane here at Martinsville as Martin Truex Jr. is taking advantage of that and expanding his lead as Almarola is down to fourth. All in one lap as Martin Truex Jr. comes through to lead lap one. Here's Briscoe trying to get second, and he will get second. He turns one and two from Joey Logano, now trying to chase down Martin Truex Jr. The 14th Chase Briscoe, not in the playoffs, but that team would love a win. They've been struggling all season pretty much. As now, the 14th's going to get to the Martin Truex Jr.'s rear bumper. Now, into turns one and two, he gives him the nudge, and Chase Briscoe is going to get to the lead, and Almarola spins. Caution is out. Playoff contender, Eric Almarola. He's going to spin out. So it just looks like Almarola dives it in on Kyla Bush and then, but he couldn't make it stick and then he slid up and hit the rear of the car. And now Almarola will be continuing after that as Briscoe will lead them down for the restart. Martin Trix Jr. on the outside. Keselowski looking for second place on Truex. He returns three and four. Chase Briscoe starting to pull away as Brad Keselowski is going to get Martin Trix Jr. It's going to get by Martin Truex Jr. for a second as Briscoe will lead them. Down the back straightaway, Brad Keselowski trying to catch up to Chase Briscoe. As the 14 is really strong today. Oh, now here's Chase Elliott making an aggressive move three wide. And it's going to make it work for fifth place. And here comes Keselowski. He's going to give Briscoe the bumper. That might be revenge for Texas when Briscoe turned Keselowski into Larson. And now they're wrecking. Joey Logano and Denny Hamlin on the front straightaway. Caution comes out. It's a hard crash. It looks like Ross Chastain just turns Joey Logano. Maybe he had gotten a bit loose from turn four, but no way of being certain is then Logano gets into the wall and nowhere that Hamlin could have gone, and then the 22 just turns around. Let's look at it a few more times again in full speed. Big playoff implications for Denny Hamlin. He was only one point into the championship four. And he probably won't be in the championship four and have some points to make up. And here they come on the restart. Brad Keselowski and Martin Truex Jr. on the front row. And around it goes to Benedetto. It's a huge crash. Red flag is out. It's the front stretch. It's just blocked. It's a pileup the, down there. And the leaders are going to line up on the back straightaway behind the pace car. Let's look at what happened. It's just, De Benedetto does not get going. Kurt Busch tries to get to his outside, but ends up turning him, and then it's just a chain reaction from there. 
big playoff implications. So De Benedetto just comes up and turns Chastain, and then they just all start piling up. Kurt Busch, Alex Bowman, William Byron, Kevin Harvick. Huge crash. It's going to hurt De Benedetto, Kurt Busch, and Bowman in points. Since Harvick is locked in, he won't mind. But now it's three laps to go. Keselowski is going to lead them. Here comes Chase Briscoe for a second. He has a big run. Oh, and he's coming to the inside of Keselowski for the lead. Chase Briscoe's the leader, but here comes Brad Keselowski to cross him over. Brad Keselowski is going to lead them with two laps to go. And he's starting to pull away. So here comes Truex. Martin Truex Jr. Trying to catch up. Gain anything he can on the two of Brad Keselowski as the white flag is out one more time around. Brad Keselowski with a solid lead in turns one and two. But here they come down the back straightaway. Here comes Truex. Oh, here he comes. He puts the bumper to the back of him. Contact made on the front straightaway around goes Martin Truex Jr. And Brad Keselowski wins the SDB 500. Brad Keselowski's going to burn it down on the front stretch to celebrate his victory. What a finish. Thing. One of the most exciting ones we've had all season. And for finishing results, Brad Keselowski, of course, getting the win. Martin Truex Jr. spinning across the line to get second. And then Briscoe in third. The only non-playoff driver in the top ten. And Kyle Busch and Chase Elliott will round out your top five. Now, a ton of DNFs. Eight cars including Alex Bowman, Matt Benedetto, Kevin Harvick, Kurt Busch, and Denny Allen, your playoff drivers. But Harvick, Harvick's already locked in, so he's all right in points. But the other guys will be definitely take a hit in points. As Kevin Harvick and Brad Keselowski are locked into the championship four, and Ryan Blaney and Kyle Busch currently filled those other two spots. And Kyle Busch is only two points in, Truex only two points out. And then some bigger points caps now. The next race is going to be at Talladega, so I hope to see you there. Goodbye.